This goal might have changed everything. The Maple Leafs came home from their California road trip and it was safe to say they were down and out, but they came into Scotiabank Arena on Wednesday night and handed the Philadelphia Flyers a 5-2 loss. Now, what if I told you this win was big? What if I told you this win could change everything? Let's begin with the obvious. John Tavares had an amazing game on Wednesday night, a hat trick. He had an assist to that. It was a big statement game from the Maple Leafs' captain. Coming into the season, a lot of people were wondering if Tavares could live up to the rest of his contract and well after 11 games he's got 14 points then you throw in the highlight reel goal that he scored on Wednesday and yeah I'd say he's worth the 11 million cap hit speaking of the goal I found something a little bit interesting with it the thing that stands out to me about the goal is the fact that it has a relation to Mitch Marner's highlight reel goal last season early on against the Vegas Golden Knights Toronto entered that game last season with a 4-4-1 record and when Marner scored that highlight reel goal there was a spot spark that was lit under the Maple Leafs. And that spark turned into a raging fire that sent Toronto winning 17 of their next 22 games last year. Matter of fact, the Maple Leafs record after that game against Vegas last season was 49, 17, and six. So yeah, it's safe to say that that game last year against the Vegas Golden Knights changed the narrative surrounding the Maple Leafs. And I'm willing to bet that the game on Wednesday night versus Philadelphia did the exact same thing. And if you need more proof, here it is. There's been a lot of people saying that the Maple Leafs need more grit. The Maple Leafs need to stand up for themselves. The Maple Leafs need to fight for their stars. And well, it happened. Austin Matthews and Travis Konechny were going at it. Austin Matthews was giving them a cross check and each traded slashes to each other. Konechny eventually wants to drop the gloves with Matthews. Matthews doesn't want a part of it. So Michael Bunting comes in and he's trying to go at Konechny. And then Mark Giordano comes out of nowhere like Randy Orton and tackles Konechny to the ice. Sort of like a football player, I'd say. Then later on in the mess, Giordano and Kevin Hayes drop the gloves and they go at it. And what's funny about it all is it came after the John Tavares goal. It came after the highlight reel goal that I think changed the narrative within the team and around it. Now, I could be wrong in this view, but to me, when you look at last season, you look at the run that they had after that Mitch Marner goal, it feels like the same exact thing. It felt like the same exact thing before this when the Maple Leafs were down and out. I was one of the people who said, listen, let's slow it down a bit. Let's wait until game 20 to see where they're at. And it looks like to me, just from the first game that they've won in a while, that they are back and they are going to continue to be back for the foreseeable future. But in particular, this was a big game by John Tavares, a real, real statement game from the Maple Leafs captain that I haven't seen for a long time. Heck, I haven't seen him score a goal like he did on Wednesday night since maybe he played for the New York Islanders. Those goals from Tavares don't come often, and when he scores one, it's a message to everyone around him that he's going at the best he can. He's willing to try everything to score goals, and that's what this entire Maple Leafs team needs. And hopefully it was a wake up call. Hopefully it was a message from Tavares that was sent to everyone around the team that that's how they want to play night in and night out. Because if they can do that, there'll be a lot of success in their future. If the rest of the players follow suit with Tavares, if the rest of the players play like they did on Wednesday night against all of the tougher opponents in the NHL, this Maple Leafs team will be a force to be reckoned with for a long time and they could have different playoff results once the time comes. This was a big game for Toronto. It'll be interesting to see if they can follow it up throughout the next five or 10 and follow suit with the way they did after they beat Vegas last year.